The other dog was too jealous, and so Gilbert was returned. You want me to love you? My name is Amy, and this is Gilbert's story for Geody. Are you ready for breakfast? He was picked up as a stray in Lancaster, California. Gotta take your medicine first. Yeah, good boy. There's coyotes and foxes and lots of wildlife it's kind of out there. The fact that he survived was pretty crazy. Morning, Gilbert. Oh, goodness. I filled out an application to adopt him, but he'd already been adopted. Three days later, I got an email that said that home did not work out. Their other little dog was extremely jealous. Would you still be interested in adopting him? And I said, yes. <laughs> Come here, Gilbert. <laughs> I thought he was literally the cutest little creature I'd ever seen. Gilbert, do you want me to love him? He's definitely a senior. We're thinking baby 12. You gonna get up? There he is. He's only 4.8 pounds. There's no way he would have survived on the streets being his size. Okay, oh yes. Big stretch. He's not like really street savvy. <laughs> okay, Gil, show him what you can do. I don't know if his owner passed away and his family didn't want to deal with him. Good job, little buddy. Oh. <laughs> or he was used as a breathing dog. Your medicine. He was not cared for well at all. Mm -hmm. He had a double ear infection. His thyroid was tanked. We got him in good enough health to have his dental done and extract most of his teeth. He has about three now. Good job, boo boo. I love you, bad boy. Oh my God. Don't steal other dog streets. I lit a scented candle one day and he ended up in the ER. He could barely breathe. He has what they call collapsing trachea, which is where the trachea narrows as he gets older. He has to have a pretty clean environment. No scented candles, no scented laundry detergent. I can't wear perfume, hairspray. Morning, Gilbert. By the time I met him, he'd been passed around a lot. So he didn't want to have anything to do with me. Breakfast. <sighs> I'm a dog trainer. I just sat on the floor with him and I gave him little treats and he warmed up and he let me pet him a little bit, but you could tell he was like, I don't know you. My life has been a little crazy. Come on, buddy. I spent about 30 minutes with him before I picked him up and brought him home. Good boy. Yay. And as soon as I put him down in the house and he saw the other dogs, he perked up and his little tail was ragging. Gilbert. <laughs> no, sir. No. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. He loves to be in comfort. He always wants to be on a blanket or under a blanket. Good boy. <laughs> oh, you okay? I take him everywhere with me. What, Gilbert wants? Gilbert gets. He just sleeps in his little box in the car, and he also runs the house. So if any other dogs get in his space and he doesn't want it, he lets out a whoa, whoa. One of my dogs in particular, Birdie, she's just enamored with him. She thinks he is the best thing and she squeaks and bounces around and wags her tail and tries to get him to play and he just looked at her like, you are crazy. Just go away. <laughs> he gets along with everybody until he says, these are my limits and everybody goes, sorry, you run the house, Gilbert. You're the man of the house. Do you want a treat, Gilbert? <laughs> he did gum my mother off. <laughs> We call it gumming because he has three teeth. She dropped some food in the kitchen and he went to eat it and she went to oh, pick it up and he gummed her right on the finger. And she was so surprised. Oh my good boy. He's so bonded to me now. I feel really guilty because I have younger dogs that I take for really long walks, like an hour and a half or more. Did you wear yourself out? And he simply can't go because he doesn't have the stamina and he'll follow me and just stand on the front porch and watch us leave. It's the saddest moment. Good job. He does go on little old senior dog walks with me. For some reason, Gilbert won't walk on grass. He only walks on pavement or dirt. He's a good little eater. He really likes lettuce for some reason. It's important that I keep his weight down because he has a bad knee. I just don't understand what Chihuahua eats lettuce. One of my favorite things is to wake him up every morning Where's because it just brightens your day to see him greet you with that happy, like, Where's okay, Gilbert? I'm ready for my day. Daddy. <laughs> He's got this little grin that goes all the way back. He's filled a spot in my heart that was empty because I lost my two little dogs so close together, three months apart. I'm just really happy that he's chosen me. Good boy, I love you.